Okay, everybody, the next few episodes here are going to be some kind of shortened episodes based on this thing right here, the toolbar. I'm going to go through each one of the, through these next few episodes. I'm going to go through this toolbar and kind of explain everything, all these little tools here and what they do and how they help you in editing. I'm going to start off with the selection tools right now. In this specific episode, I'm going to cover these first three tools right here. Since the 2015 updates, they've added this extra tool right here. This was actually in 2014, but it was actually just one individual tool and you had to do kind of a series of shortcuts to get to it. So now they've got it visualized right here in the 2015 updates, you've got your selection tool, you've got your track select forward tool, and your track select backwards tool. So we're going to go through these three in this episode and cover that. Probably the most versatile tool here is going to be your selection tool. So first of all, let's go through the selection tool. The selection tool just is not a selection tool. It's also a move tool and a trim tool as well. So it's mainly those three things. It's selection, move, and trim. And we're going to go through those things right now. So before I go through all these tools here, I want to talk about shortcuts to select tools. You can simply move your mouse over these tools and, it will, and click on it and it will select them. And then you bring it over to your timeline and you'll see an icon pop up that represents that tool. So if I select the razor tool and move it over, it becomes a razor once I move it over the timeline window. All these tools basically operate, for the most part, in the timeline. Some of them will also operate in the canvas window as well. For the most part, these operate in the timeline. Now you can either click to select these items here, or you can use the shortcuts for them. If you want to know what the shortcuts are, all you have to do is move your mouse over the tool, hover it over it for a second, and it will pop up and show you the shortcut in parentheses there. So this one here, the, select tra the track select forward tool is A. The shortcut to select the main selection tool is V, as in Victor. And if you hover over each one of these, you will see in parentheses the shortcut for each one. So if you need a quick reminder, just hover over it and look at it. But I would recommend that you memorize these, and it will make your editing a lot faster. So right now, if I'm on one of these tools, say I'm on the razor tool, and I want to select my arrow tool here, or my selection tool. I sometimes call it the arrow tool. So if you want to use your shortcuts to select these tools, all you have to do is know the shortcuts, and then you will hit them. Right now, I'm on the blade tool or on the razor tool. I'm going to hit the letter V as in Victor on my time on my keyboard and it goes back to the selection tool I want all tracks forward you select a shift a for all tracks backwards and that's basically how that works to select those tools and if you memorize those like I said it'll make editing really quick and efficient so right now let's go through the selection tool the first the, the main tool here within our timeline here first of all what this simply does is if you need to select a clip you can just go down and hover your mouse over it, or your selection tool over it, and click, and it will select an individual item. Now, if you need to move that also, you can. this works as a move tool as well. So you can select a clip, and you can just grab it with your mouse and move it wherever you wanted to move it. So I just grabbed that clip and dragged it out of there just by simply grabbing it and moving it. So like I said, this is a selection and a move tool. You can select multiple clips by holding down Shift and clicking on several clips. And now I've got all those clips. I can grab one of these and move it, and it will move all those clips at once. Another way of doing that is using the marquee option of your selection tool. And the way to do that is just simply click outside of a clip. You don't grab a clip. If you if you try to drag a marquee like this over several clips, but you're, you start with the mouse hovering over a clip, all that's going to do is move the clip. So you have to start outside where you're not selecting anything. Click and drag, and you can select multiple clips with your marquee tool. Once that's selected, you can grab one and move it. I also mentioned that the selection tool is a trim tool as well. So what we can do here with the selection tool, if you move this down and get it right on the edge of a clip, on either the left-hand side of a clip or right-hand side of a clip, you'll see this arrow that points toward the clip here. And you move it toward an edit, notice it's pointing toward the right there. If I move it over past the edit, it'll suddenly change to the left instead of the right. So right now what this is indicating is it's going to trim this clip, this clip's endpoint, to the right. If I grab this and move it, it's going to start trimming this. And I just cut off all those frames. And you'll notice here as I move it, look at how many frames it's taking off. It's taking off 10 frames right there. It's just trimmed 10, 10 frames into my endpoint. If you go to the end, you can grab this and drag it in and it is taking, it's going minus 10 frames back into the clip there. I just trim 10 frames off this side and 10 frames off this side. I'm going to undo that, Command Z, Command Z, or Control Z on a PC. Now, let's say I want to extend this clip. I'm going to pull this clip out here just so we can kind of look at it here. You can use the trim tool until it butts into another clip. If we have another clip up here, let me move this up so you can kind of see what we're doing here. If I grab this clip and grab it and drag, it's going to trim. With the selection tool, it's only going to let me trim as far as I can go until it butts into this other clip right there, and then it's done. 
but you'll notice up here it is showing how much footage we're trimming. It's showing the end frame here, your new out point frame, as I trim that over to the right. And as we grab this and we trim it to the left, it's showing where my new end point is going to be. But your trim tool will edit whatever one it's pointing toward, the out point or the end point of the clip of wherever dire the direction of this arrow is pointing. So right here, if we're trimming this one in, and it will leave a gap right there. Or trim it, the end point back out. And that's basically the way that works. So it's kind of a quick little edit tool. We're going to get into some quicker, easier, efficient ways of doing trimming and cutting in later episodes, but that's basically what your selection tool does. Now it's also important to mention here, if you're trying to move several clips, there's some shortcuts on your timeline to get around using the selection tool here. I'm going to select this range of clips right here and say I want to move those to the very end. One simple way of doing that is grabbing these and moving them and dragging them to the end right there and I'll place them right there. But if you want to stick them in the middle here somewhere, say we want to grab a range of clips and we want to move them. I'm going to get rid of my audio here for a second. I'm holding down Alt or Option and selecting my audio, dragging a marquee over it and hitting Delete to delete all that footage. Because I just want to demonstrate moving right now. Say I want to grab a range of clips right here and I want to move them to the middle right here. So I've got this range of clips selected. I'm going to move it over here. I want to move it right there. And I let go and watch what it does. It eats into the other clips and it just deleted all the clips for the duration of this range of clips right there. But say I don't want to delete these. Say I want to insert them right there and move, move these over. Kind of easy to do. You just grab all these clips here that you want to move. You grab it and drag it over. And then when you get it in position where you want it to be, right there, I want to snap to that clip right there and move everything else out. I'm going to hold down my command key or on a PC the control key while I'm still, I've still got to hold the mouse. I haven't let go yet. And now I'm going to hit command or control. And notice these arrows that pop up. These arrows mean that this is going to stick those in there and shove all the other clips out. So now, I let, still holding the command key, I let go of my mouse. And boom. It shoves everything else out and inserted that range of clips, inserted them between these clips right here, between these two, two edits. We will get into the copy and paste and ripple cut copy and paste in later episodes as we start getting into editing, but that's basically how the trim tool works. And the cut, copy, and paste are going to be other ways of moving and navigating around your timeline and moving clips from your timeline from one section to the next. Let's go over our select track forward and our select track backward here. So I'm going to hit A to select all tracks forward here. And you'll see this double arrow pop up. What these double arrows mean is it's going to select anywhere that you click. It's going to do it from the tip of the arrow forward. So if you look at the, the very, very tip of my top arrow there, it's going to select from that point forward. So if I just hover over this clip right there where my tip is just going into that kind of wide Danny clip right there and I click, it's going to select from that tip of the arrow forward. Anything that's from this point forward is going to select. So now look at what it's selected here. It's selected everything by that beginning clip. If I move this forward here, click there, it's from this point on forward right there. And right there, all tracks forward from that point there. And what do we mean by all tracks forward? Watch this. If we have some clips that are above on another track like that, if we're doing B-roll editing and we have some, some clips up here and we want to select just that track right there, well, first of all, watch what happens when I use my all tracks forward key. A, I click. It's going to select from this point. It selected all tracks. Any track that I have from this point forward, if I have them on V3, V4, or any other track, it's going to select everything. S say I just want to select this single track right here, or this single track right here. All you have to do is, while you've got your all tracks forward selected, is hold down Shift. Shift will turn this to a single track forward right now. I've still got my all tracks forward selected, now I hold down Shift, and it brings this alternative of just doing a single track. I click on that, and it will select just this track right there. And it will also, keep in mind that that will also track, uh, select any audio clips associated with these here. And right now these are unlinked from these tr tracks down here, so it did not select any audio tracks. So watch this here. If I, if I do my single track forward here, I hold down Shift and click him from here forward. Notice there are some audio clips that are linked to video clips, so it selected those ones as well if they are linked. If you just want it to select video or audio and nothing else on a single track, you hold down Shift and Option at, or Alt at the same time. I'm holding down Shift and Option at the same time. I click uh, that single track forward. The Option basically releases the link there and selects just a video track. So single track forward, holding down Shift on that tool, clicking forward will select all the video plus audio tracks associated with it, or if you just do down here, it'll select all audio track, that in single audio track with all the video tracks associated with those audio tracks. And if you just want to get just the audio, Shift, Option, select, or up here on the video, Shift, Option, select. Click, basically, and that selects all tracks forward. All tracks backward. 
which is basically Shift A for your for your shortcut. Shift A selects all track backwards, and this is very similar to all tracks forward. You just Single click and that from that point of the arrow backwards, it's going to select all the tracks backwards. So nice and convenient, especially if you've got a long, a huge timeline of a lot of clips, then you want to select a big section and delete just a small section. You can use your all tracks backwards or all tracks forward to select the range of clips that you need to. And this is going to be the same backwards. If you hold down shift, it'll do a single track. So now it won't select this one up here. Select from here backwards. And if you want to select if it is selecting audio along with it like it did here and you just want to get video and not the audio associated with the clips, shift, option, click, does it. So some shortcuts to memorize there, but very easy to kind of navigate and get in and select the clips that you need to within your timeline. In the next episode, we will be covering the ripple and roll tools.